Welcome to What's New in Burbank. The Public Works Department wants you to know that there are three ways to recycle your Christmas tree following the holiday season. One, from now through January 22nd, you can simply leave it on your curb or alley and city crews will pick it up. Two, you can take it to one of three parks through January 23rd. Those locations are Verdugo Park, Ralph Foy Park, and McCambridge Park. And three, you can put it in your green waste container with other yard trimmings. Just be sure to cut up the tree so the container lid closes. Remember, all trees are mulched or composted, so be sure to remove all tinsel, ornaments, and metal stands. Flock trees cannot be recycled. For more information about tree recycling, go to BurbankCA.gov. 2016 was only a few hours old as the self-built float by the Burbank Tournament of Roses Association rolled down Colorado Boulevard. A big winner. More on that in a few seconds. Are we there yet is the question. This is how it looked a couple of weeks earlier as Mayor Bob Frutos and other city executives got a sneak peek at the then unfinished Rose Parade entry. The 2016 parade theme was Find Your Adventure, and that's exactly what this family of raccoons was doing on the Burbank float titled Are We There Yet? The float featured the raccoon family on vacation in a classic wood-paneled station wagon towing a teardrop trailer. The Burbank float won the prestigious theme trophy as well as the praise of Bob Eubanks and Stephanie Edwards, who hosted their last parade telecast for KTLA Channel 5. We're having to write raccoon trouble at our house. So I hear. They're digging up the lawn. They're um, rolling my, it up, you say. Yeah, they roll it up. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Burbank's float design winner, Linda Kozakos, member of the Turn of the Roses, is the first white suitor ever to design a parade float. Good for her. Pretty neat, huh? The Burbank Housing Authority will be accepting new applications for the Section 8 Rental Assistance Program beginning Monday, January 11th through Monday, February 8th, 2016. This program provides rental assistance to very low income renters. Starting January 11th, you can pick up Section 8 applications at the following City of Burbank locations. The Jocelyn Adult Center, Olive Recreation Center, Verdugo Park, McCambridge Park, Overham Community Center, Burbank Central Library, Buena Vista Branch Library, and the Northwest Branch Library. For more information on the Section 8 Rental Assistance Program or to apply online, visit burbankca.gov slash housing news. On Tuesday, December 1st, the Burbank Parks and Recreation Department held a reception for the Burbank Arts Beautification Program at the Colony Theater. This program is a project of the Burbank Cultural Arts Commission and commissioned artists to paint seven city utility boxes with decorative art. The artists were chosen in early September and started painting the boxes soon thereafter. Several of the artists were on hand at the event to receive recognition as well as talk about their process. I started out with the, with the drawing and then, um, then I enlarged it and to accommodate the different angles, sizes, and uh, the back was a challenge because of the grooves. So uh, that took a while to paint. I totally enjoyed it. You can learn more about the program and where you can see the finished boxes by visiting burbankca.gov slash just imagine. Forecasters predict El Nino will bring intense storms and heavy rains this winter. The cities of Burbank, Glendale, and Pasadena have created this website, elninoready.org, to provide important safety and emergency preparedness information. When stacking the sandbags, stack them tightly to limit any gaps. Once there, you can sign up to receive emergency notifications, learn how to create a family emergency plan, and pick up tips to survive a variety of urgent situations. No family disaster plan is complete without including your pets and all of your animals. ElNinoReady.org will also provide a link to follow the Verdugo Alert Twitter account so you can be alerted to significant emergencies in all three cities. The time to prepare for an emergency is before it happens. ElNinoReady.org will help you do just that. The Colony Theater has announced its 41st season featuring five shows including a star-powered world premiere. The Colony, located in the Burbank Town Center, has produced award-winning live theater for more than four decades. 
And after the new year, two world premieres, the new musical Another Roll of the Dice in February, and in April, legendary actress Patty Duke becomes Mary Lincoln, sharing stories and memories as the wife of Abraham Lincoln. For information on all these plays and how you can purchase season tickets, visit colonytheater.org. I'm Peter Masurlian, and this has been What's New in Burbank.